Sure. So sometimes when I'm between stories, I find myself browsing regulations.gov, which is this federal website where the government posts regulations it has planned, ways it implements laws into policy. And when they do this, they get comments from the public. So there's feedback from ordinary citizens and also from powerful lobbying groups. And I was looking at the Trump administration's drug pricing proposal, and they've been seeking comments for how they should be carrying this out. And I found there a comment from the lobbying group for the Pharmaceutical Benefits Managers, which is this powerful trade group in DC. And it turned out they had been calling for use of marching rights, which is this obscure federal provision in which if the government helped fund development of a drug, it can effectively march in and seize the patent and give it to other people if they're afraid that for whatever reason, the drug has gotten inaccessible. This seemed odd to me. I mean, we have this powerful PBM lobbying group calling for a policy that's usually aligned with groups like Bernie Sanders, like Public Citizen, like Elizabeth Warren. So I made some calls and I talked to the health insurance lobbying group as well. And they told me they hadn't called for marching rights, but they were advocating something similar, which is the use of Section 1498, a different legal provision that's been used in the past to negotiate lower drug prices. Similar idea. You come in, you take the drug patent, give it to other companies to manufacture competitors and bring down prices. And between the two of these, it seemed that something different was happening, something strange and perhaps worth writing about.